ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ continue with the recapitulation in lecture 4 <coughs> so what we have already discussed in ehb2 we are just trying to sum up i'll take it later well, understanding about human being and the existence so in this session we'll try to recapitulate our understanding about human being and existence so we are not talking about something new but what we have already discussed and explored in ehb2 particularly of those aspects which are of immediate concern in this course that is aspects which we are going to investigate in further depth so we said right in the beginning that we what we are going to do in ehb3 is in continuation with what we have done in ehb2 but now the depth and the width will be more right particularly when it goes to understanding about the human being and the self and understanding about the existence and there the understanding of existence as submergence of units in space so those things we will discuss in uh, quite depth <coughs> the concluding observation of this session is the most important part is ensuring harmony in human being and human conduct is ensuring right understanding and right feeling in the self so the major work has to be done at the level of self and not at the level of body that is the major conclusion and what has to be done at the level of self is right understanding right feeling right thought and ultimately the right conduct the human conduct in that sense self is central to human existence which we are going to discuss in the next lecture so what we have already looked into is this that human being is not just the body but coexistence of self and the body therefore if we have to understand human being we have to understand both we have to understand the body and we also have to understand the self right just by understanding the body it is not enough to understand the human being and this is a very important statement because if you look at the whole of education today the whole of science right today it goes by the assumption that human being is equal to body isn't it all your biology and you know eh? sociology and all that is going by the assumption that human being is equal to body is that so or not so science does not go beyond material even when you try to study psychology your focus is back to the behavior the external expression of what is going on in the self right and at the most we will see the focus is on the imagination part and not on the part of the sanskar and the understanding so it is not talking about b1 at all at the most it is talking about b2 part and in b2 part also it is interested in the expression of this b2 in the behavior and work outside okay. so now we can understand that human being is not just the body but coexistence of the body and the self and therefore we need to understand both so when you go into the details of what is this body and what is this self and what is this coexistence between the two we can see that their needs are different 
that is one way of looking at them second is there are activities are different and third is that their response is also different so in the, these three ways we can see that they are not the same thing they are different things they are different types of things right body is one type of reality self is another type of reality right they cannot be understood in terms of each other both of them have to be understood separately and when we understand both of them separately we can also understand their coexistence so in order to understand that we are trying to see that the need of the self is different from the need of the body the activity of the self is different from the activity of the body the response of the self is different from the response of the body right so if you look at the need need of the self or begin with the need of the body which you are able to identify better the need of the body is like food you know things like food which is a physical facility so this physical facility is required for the body for nurturing the body you need food for protecting the body you need clothes right so these are the need of the body when it comes well but when it comes to the self self has needs like respect right trust happiness all these are the need of the self is that clear by now yes you must have reflected lot on this okay so these needs are different and the type of these needs are also very different because if you look at the need of the body it is temporary in time when there is a need for nurturing the body you need food when your stomach is full do you still need food no if you continue to eat <coughs> it will become troublesome for the body right it will lead to indigestion so this need of the food is temporary in time but when it comes to the need of the self things like respect happiness do you want them temporarily or in continuity in continuity right so this is a major difference between the two and because they are required one is required temporarily the other is required in continuity therefore whenever there is an issue of fulfilling the need of the self you have to think in terms of continuity right so if you try to fulfill the need of the self by anything which is not continuous in nature you will get into trouble so physical facility is not continuous in nature so with physical facility you cannot fulfill the need of the self if you try doing that you will be in trouble right need of the body is temporary anyway so with physical facility you can fulfill the need of the body that clarity is required <coughs> is that fine everybody can see this then if you look at the need of the body it is quantitative in nature you can identify the quantity about as to what how much is required so if you are eating food for nurturing your body one may need half kg of food another may need quarter kg of food right or 1 kg of food but you can identify the quantity can you do that yes. yes so it is quantitative in nature but when it comes to the need of the self it is not quantitative it is qualitative in nature it has to do with the feeling right for example this need for respect which is the need of the self you cannot talk about 1 kg of respect or half kg of respect okay 
either you have the feeling of respect or you do not have the feeling of respect right so it is qualitative it is in terms of feelings either it is there or it is not there can you see that it is are given more respect than the lower ones what does it mean Huh? Yeah, or is it only it is part of yeah. expression which is which we are talking about? See, if you look at it in terms of feeling, either you have the feeling of respect or you do not have the feeling of respect. Number one. Number two, in terms of expression, okay, if there is a higher authority and you feel that he can punish you. then you express that feeling of respect even if you don't have the feeling of respect and this man on the higher place knows this so he does not give any value to it <laughs> right <laughs> is it because of power with the higher authorities no it is because of the Higher power, mm. there is a fear. Fear, and to take care of that, you are trying to express that feeling, which you may or may not have. Like the way I would express respect for you, a part of expression. I may have that feeling for all, but I may not express it the same way with others. Yeah, so there may be different ways of expression. if you are expressing this feeling of respect to the elder there will be a different way if you are expressing it to your friend there will be a different way when you are expressing it to your sons and daughters you know it will be a different way yeah so that is what only difference of expression yeah It, in that way also it is measurable na no? i'm having feeling not having feeling two category is there yeah the two categories are there either you have the feeling or you do not have the feeling but once you have the feeling there is no measure of that you know you know 1 kg or 1 feet or 2 feet of that is not there this was one of the question in the prp development <laughs> i don't know what to answer you have two category now it is quantitative no so either you have the feeling or you do not have the feeling that choice is there but if you have the feeling right it is there or it has to be in continuity that is the expectation with it is not maintained in fact interestingly if there is fear in relationship right the feeling is missing and this person sitting on the top knows that you know your expression of feeling does not mean anything so he does not feel satisfied so if you are in any higher place you know what it is right he does not reply even if he replies deep down he thinks theek hai you know <laughs> yes <laughs> and you can also differentiate you know i mean a higher up if he is behaving with respect with you then you have one kind of respect for him or her right if he is not behaving properly and he is expecting respect from you then by because of the fear you express that feeling which you do not have within but yeah i have a doubt here see let me say that i i am having a feeling of respect for everyone as bhaiya mentioned like the way of expression will be different for each one so uh, at times i feel like whether i am having the same feeling for everyone or not because when i see you i i reflect it in particular way when i see the other so is there any possibility where i can make my expression common to everyone See, the expression need not be common. 
the expression need not be common the feeling has to be common so you would respect a child and you would respect a grown up you will respect a wise person right you will also respect a ignorant person right but when it comes to expressing that respect right you will express it in a way that it is helpful for the other so if he is a small child out of my respect for him i will try to give him the right kind of education if it is respect for the elder you know i will try to learn from the other the expressions are going to be different but the feeling would remain the same and all these feeling that we have been talking about right when we understand the reality the existence the coexistence and understand the relationship in its completeness then these feelings will be there for everyone feeling of affection will be there for everyone feeling of trust respect will be there isn't it so um, my behavior expression with you differs from my expression with another person may is it because i have mixed feelings towards you maybe uh, respect and uh, gratitude is it because of that or i behave and, and uh, or my expression towards my child differs means i have feeling of respect uh, and care affection so that can be the reason yeah it could be the reason to expression it involves the body and when it involves the body again you cannot have the continuity okay so out of my respect if i shake hand with you and i keep holding your hand then you will be in trouble right isn't it <laughs> bhaiya can you move to the next question please here last bench <laughs> from the top the second row from the top and the second row from the bottom both are same that is indicating uh, in time scale the need of the self is continuous and the need of the body is temporary and this is repeated in the bottom sixth line also is it purposefully written or uh, yeah this is about the need this is about the activity could not get one it. above is about the need the one below is about the activity okay 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 got it thank you So now we can see that the need of the body is temporary in time and quantitative in nature need of the self is continuous in time and qualitative in nature so they are of two different types right and therefore when you try to fulfill the need of the two you have to fulfill them differently okay you have to fulfill them differently the need of the body is fulfilled by some physical facility right some physiochemical thing the need of the self is fulfilled by right understanding and right fe feeling so now you can see if you remember the first lecture you know of ehb2 where you are saying that do need you do need physical facility but that is not enough over and physical above physical facility you need right feeling in relationship and also you need right understanding in the self so this need of the body is fulfilled by physiochemical things need of the self is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling 
so these two needs are of different types they are for they are fulfilled differently is that clear this is a very significant thing you know because till now what we have been trying to do is to fulfill our need as human being by fulfilling the need of physical facility and however hard you try and however successful you are right it will not suffice can you see that any amount of money any amount of physical facility is not going to ensure the fulfillment of the need of the self is that clear how many people have this clarity now okay how many people do not have the clarity of this fact that any amount of money any amount of physical facility would not suffice to fulfill the need of the self good big achievement <laughs> because till now most of us have been investing all our time and effort to get some more physical facility isn't it eh we think so about the physical facility but after some time you don't know what to do with it they are like in the if you have 200 pairs of clothes what do you do with it rather than getting confused true true <laughs> every time you have to wear you feel confused you know wear this or wear that bhai yeah, this yes. un- this understanding is there like this is the need of the body this is the need of the self and through this physical chemical things i cannot get the happiness but when it comes to the sharing and picking again somewhat we run and come back and and come back that turning behind the physical facility to derive this happiness it is not continuously i am not out of it you are trying to derive sometime running up and coming on <laughs> yeah so what uh, supraja ji is saying that though there is some clarity about the fact that this has a different type of need this has a different type of need this has to be fulfilled by physical facility this has to be fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling i have got this clarity but when it comes to working for the fulfillment of the need i keep fluctuating you know sometime i work for this and then sometime you think okay no let's ha- have some more physical facility that will be probably helpful yes we keep doing that the major shift that we expect from uhv3 is essentially this that if you look at this block am i able to see that the self is something which is of the nature of consciousness the need of the self is happiness in continuity and it is fulfilled by the activities of the self this right understanding is the activity of the self right feeling is the activity of the self right so the need of the consciousness is fulfilled by the activities of the consciousness in that sense i as the self as unit of consciousness i can be self sufficient i do not have to depend upon physical facility for ensuring my continuity of happiness this is going to be a significant con- you know conclusion of this hv3 true bhaiya because uh, <coughs> today morning in the observation right from the uh, picking of dresses picking of every single thing it i know this is for the body this is to cover a body this is to on the top of body but through this why i am picking this is desired by the self through this deriving this respect or through this people how will see see lot of things going on in myself in every pick of the physical facility and everything it's interconnected no so in in terms of we know this is for the body but still a uh, lot of thoughts inside about those if i not wear a bangle 
mama what mama will say see lot of confusions and the conditions are still running in the back <laughs> yeah let preconditioning you know we have accumulated so many of them and they continue to play some role even now so <clears throat> they will they be there till you are able to evaluate each one of them first be aware of each one of them evaluate each one of them okay and then decide whether to go for it or not to go for it so certain things you may still continue for example this issue that you took you know i wear this bangle because if i do not wear it my mother will feel hurt okay now i am not wearing this bangle to get respect but to take care of my feeling for the mother you know that she should not get hurt right i have that feeling of care concern for the mother i am wearing this bangle this is one thing you know but to get to wear bangles to get respect from the other of n different types okay or whatever is in the fashion that is problematic so all this you will be able to understand you know and decide for yourself yes. so uh, how do we know what is right and what is wrong <coughs> that Because... we are saying right from the beginning yes somebody wants oh, to say actually that. we got the answer yesterday like whichever is naturally acceptable or right understanding and right feeling but according to every individual right may be deferred so now next i have a uh, doubt like what is the difference between acceptance and natural acceptance yeah so all these points we have been discussing in introductory workshop as well as this ehb2 workshop but i can still clarify you know it's you ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of relationship feeling of opposition feeling of relationship relationship this each one of us can verify right that is what we are calling as natural acceptance now if you look at the acceptance it means i have come to assume it to be true without verification so you for example you know i was giving this example that today we are made to believe that there is struggle for survival and survival of the fittest right this is an assumption which almost all of us are having all of us who have gone through this education right now if you go by this assumption you will have a feeling of opposition for the other or feeling of relationship for the other opposition so you have acceptance for opposition because you think that there is opposition in the whole existence whole nature but is it naturally acceptable to you <coughs> what do you think actually uh, the thing is uh, at certain situations like um, for example i'll tell you um when a, when a student is writing his exam let us take for example uh, he uh, without any intention actually he forgot and he uh, had his mobile phone in his packet let us consider so now when we are going for uh, some square duty or something like that we can we can we have taken his mobile but the intention is he forgot actually uh, and he kept it but at that time uh, what we feel is position of the mobile phone is wrong according to our side but his intention is also not like that but we doesn't know actually the fact uh, but at the time we are supposed to punish them so how can i at that time have a right feeling uh, for that particular student mic 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 as we were saying there are two things one is having the feeling second is expression of the feeling regarding having the feeling can we have the clarity definiteness yes no that is what we have to settle first all 
always try to make this announcement before the exam starts that you are not you know expected to keep your mobile along with you please check you know that of course everyone does actually <laughs> this happens to all the teachers but still some situations happen like that yeah then i have to decide what to do if i make a judgment that he has not done it intentionally then i can vouch for it and leave him free if i have the judgment that he has done it intentionally then he deserves a punishment i tell you the rules are made by us and if we take the responsibility even the exam superintendent will be willing to you know uh, consider it but then you have to take the responsibility yes so all this kind of conditions will keep coming sir sir one doubt punishment natural acceptable or not sir <laughs> this is what you know has to be decided in a society do you start with right education or you don't care for right education and if things go wrong start giving punishment make stronger and stronger jails give stronger and stronger punishment what is the approach the approach would be that i try to ensure right education for every child right despite that if some child has a very bad sanskar from its previous you know association with the body and he continues to have some of those bad sanskar and he does something which is very harmful for the society then i can hold him you know put him in a confined place which is called jail right but now i put him in the jail what do i do do i try to give him right kind of education or just the punishment so even in the jail there is enough scope for you to give the right kind of education in sanskar we are not giving right education in the schools we are not giving right education in sanskar even in the jail just giving punishment will not help and if i am giving that punishment for the way i am telling you know that you feel that he has to be confined or he has to be you know to draw his attention something has to be done when i am doing that am i doing it with a feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition so if the child is going to put his hand in the fire the mother will hold him by force but when she is holding him by force what is the feeling feeling of affection or feeling of opposition affection so you may give punishment for certain reason but what is your feeling that is important yeah so if the mother has feeling of opposition she will be in trouble and she will put the child also in trouble <laughs> that is what happens now i have one doubt like when what is the condition the two self should have so that other self will understand my own self is there any possibility yes yes that is what we are saying each one of us should have right, right understanding. understanding and right everybody feeling. should have okay sir actually i i understood from the discussion that uh, like if we are affecting one own self that should be handled immediately i should not postpone okay usually if i have fight with one of my friend i will postpone okay we will talk my friend also suggest why don't you talk to him uh, talk to that girl after uh, 10 days <laughs> i do that in between there is a gap only since i affected her self i am postponing 
maybe the, it will not uh, bring a solution if i am uh, handling with the body the post movement is work the post movement works is it correct sir? if i am affecting one's body by words or something the handling maybe i can postpone to deal with the body but if i am affecting one's self that should be handled immediately that should be continuous yes yeah. ideally speaking i should handle the self myself and self of the other before such kind of incident takes place that will be the best right then probably these incidents will not take place okay the undesirable incidents but if it has taken place we have to immediately take care of our own self so our own self we should take care because okay. otherwise we are hurting ourselves you know okay. by having right wrong feelings and if we take care of our own self then we will be able to take care of the self of the other also okay because if you do not have the feeling of opposition any more right then you can take care of the other self the problem is that you yourself is having this feeling of opposition and now if you try to handle with the other right it will lead to fight isn't it so one more thing like if i am uh, in continuation with my uh, self is continuous for example if i am going to temple daily i am okay at home two three time three days if i am not going my car like somehow my character is changing so like what way i am seeing that i have not understood like uh, so that the continuity should be there uh, to satisfy our self is it correct sir like for example i am telling mindset uh, is it mindset or is it related with myself sir actually see the role of these temples you know or any such place has been to draw your attention towards what is natural for you and what is not natural for you that is the purpose so if you go to those places at least you or your attention is drawn towards the right feelings towards the positive feelings if that those feelings have not stabilized in you out of your understanding out of the influence okay you get those feelings and therefore you can manage yourself and you can also manage your relationship but ultimately what is expected is that you under develop that understanding and you develop those feelings yourself so that not only you are de- not dependent on that but you have also become a source for others that It is why these temples were supposed to be the seat of learning seat of education you know giving right kind of education and sanskar slowly for different reasons you know lot of political domination and lot of you know misinterpretations they have lost that position or we have we are not you know connecting them in that sense but that is the purpose of this temples or such you know kind of public places that they help you to develop right kind of feelings develop right understanding okay so if you go there at least even if you have very bad feelings you they calm down you know and you develop some good feelings sir as per our discussion i could understand uh, both the self should have right understanding and right feeling in case uh, as you said in case other fellow is lagging in that uh, i am working we two uh, two ex- two uh, one, one myself and one of my colleague is working towards uh, one goal <laughs> but uh, i am considering that okay that there is the right way with the right feeling but they are not having that right understanding with right feeling as you said i should make cover my own self to be clear is it uh, that way i can uh, resolve this problem okay like i cannot expect them or how i can make them also to understand to walk towards the goal there is a conflict between myself and my colleague how i can reach the goal since it is allotted for us see first thing is that i have i am having the right understanding and right yes, feeling this i have to ensure yes with right understanding and right feeling my behavior will be proper with the other okay 
and what he will be able to evaluate is my behavior that okay so even if he may not like the suggestions what i am giving but he would like my behavior okay. that is the place where he starts feeling related to me what i do is i put my opinion in higher place than my behavior and to argue out my point i am almost misbehaving with the other so that leads to fight i should make them we should talk to uh, make them clear clear sir first you have to be An army officer is standing at the border of India and Pakistan. That is an international border, and the person who is armed with light machine gun, officially provided to the officer. When he is killing three Pakistani soldiers, the person is being awarded, rewarded, honored by our nation with PVC, Param Vir Chakra. When the same person utilizing the same weapon. is killing three innocent villagers of india at the border the same person is being punished in the light of right understanding and right feeling how do you evaluate this situation i think such questions have already been responded to in esb 1 and 2 i mean if i am not mistaken but i can still respond to your question okay can take a similar example i am torturing my personal servant in my house the policeman is carrying me and the same person is also torturing me in the jail under police custody the same act same person but the situations are different so how justified is this act the issue is what is your feeling what is your understanding that is important right even this punishment is given on the basis of what is your understanding and how, what is your feeling i was taking this example that the mother is holding the child by force to stop the child from putting the hand in the fire right if it is done with the feeling of affection right you will not give punishment if it is done with the feeling of opposition something has to be done about it you know it has to be stopped so that's it that is the basic idea but many times it is not so simple also right we have drawn certain lines certain you know under certain assumption and with respect to those lines we have decided as mine and yours now if that is the case then there is a problem what we are talking about is something which is very universal in nature and you will see that there are no boundaries so if you ask what is the natural acceptance feeling for opposition or feeling for relationship the answer would be feeling for relationship right this is universal okay but when you draw boundary when you start saying that indians are different from the pakistanis okay then 
all these definitions will be modified. So that is one problem that we have to keep in mind that we have lot of assumptions and we are seeing things through those assumptions and therefore we are likely to go wrong. You know, take this example of the army officer. This army officer, when he is killing somebody, maybe a Pakistani, how does he feel? So does he feel the, happy or unhappy? So far as the natural acceptance is concerned, the person will definitely be unhappy within. Unhappy. But 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 again, we are supposed to follow the rules of the land, uh, laws of the this land. Is, this is what I am saying. So you have to understand both. One is that he feels unhappy. There is no exception to this. That is the reason in most of the army system, you have arrangement for providing liquor so that they can forget about themselves. Liquor, right? Liquor is for forgetting themselves. Otherwise, they will feel unhappy, you know? Yeah. Either you take to music or you take to liquor. Most of these armies, you know, has to do this. So, we have to understand this also, that this person is feeling unhappy after having killed someone. Second is that this assumption of having divided the country into two or some place into two, now you have certain rule regulations which you have framed. Okay. What do we do? As long as you are operating within those rules, you have to obey them. You know. But then you have to find a solution because these kind of things cannot continue. Today, just imagine more than 50% of our resources we are spending preparing for war. Can you understand this? Yes. Even the countries like America is spending directly or indirectly more than 50% of their resources. Right? India also. Pakistan is still more. Because uh, um, if uh, that um, soldier, um, Indian uh, soldier, uh, does, uh, <coughs> soldier does not kill the other person, he will be a, a threat to the people, a threat to people of India. So yeah, that yeah, way that of protection, I mean, protection, it can be uh, a naturally accepted feeling also. If he is a very harmful is, person, we are spending so much in continuing with the war. How much we are spending to develop friendship? Yes, sir. What is the budget? <laughs> UHV. <laughs> <laughs> See, the whole perception is, has gone wrong. Fight between Pakistan and India and we are trying to sustain ourselves, you know, against that oppression. But what are we doing for ensuring relationship with Pakistan? How much fund or budget we are allocating for that purpose? Sir, one more doubt. Not only that, in fact, I remember we used to have this international conference before this corona came. Every year we used to have an international conference where we used to call all people, you know, of concern from the world over. And three times these people from Pakistan came, chancellors, vice chancellors and people like that, registrar. And their response was so warm. Pakistan, Bangladesh. The fourth time, they couldn't come because the government of India did not give the permission. Right? They kept on delaying. We had applied almost eight months in advance. They said, bring that document, bring this document and so on and so forth. And then finally they rejected. Now just imagine, you know, people of the stature of vice chancellor, chancellor, you know, registrar, already you have enough verification to do. Okay, you do that verification. But if some people want to talk about human values, at least allow them to come 
<laughs> you want to keep any security with them, keep security. That is fine. That anyway they do. Right? Before these people they arrive, the LIU people will arrive. And they will ask you 100 questions. When these people come, then again they come and ask another 100 questions, right? All that comes, happens. We are not asking any budget from them, any money from them, you know. Just the permission, then let them come. These people want to think over it and, you know, reflect and let them come, you know. They will not allow. So, one more doubt, sir. Sir, um, uh, earlier you said um, happiness, uh, prosperity is part of happiness. And now, uh, this uh, need of the self is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling. Whether that prosperity is part of that feeling? Yeah. In that case, uh, self needs uh, physical, faci required physical facility. Self so needs physical facility for the body. Yeah. Yes. So, I am responsible towards the body and for the nurturing of the body, protection of the body, I, you know, physical facility is necessary. Therefore, I realize that physical facility is necessary for the sake of the body. As far as I am concerned, for my continuity of happiness, all that I need is right understanding and right feeling. And if I have that, that ensures my, you know, continuity of happiness. That is what is being said. So, these two have to be kept separately. So, it is not that when I am in a state of continuous happiness, I will not bother about other things. I will take care of the body, I can yeah. take care of my relationship with other human beings, I can take care of the society, take care of the nature, all that I will do. But I will do that with a feeling of relationship, with a state of continuous happiness. That is what is being said. The self needs physical facility for the fulfillment of feeling of relationship with the body. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, this is about the need. The self and body have different types of need and therefore they are fulfilled differently. Second thing is about the activity. The activity of the self and the activity of the body are different. I hope by this time you are able to observe, you know, the activities of the body and activity of the self and you find that there are two different types of activities, right. The activity of the body can take place temporarily, you cannot ensure the continuity of it. But the activity of the self are going on continuously and you cannot stop it even if you want to stop it, right. So, your imagination, for example, your desire, thought and expectation, does it go on or you can stop it? When you take some work from the body, can you take it in continuity or you will have to give rest to the body? Give rest to the body. So, this clarity that the activity of the self and the activity of the body are different. Activity of the body is temporary in nature, in time activity of the self is continuous in time. And the third one that is response of the two are also very different. In fact, this is a very crucial thing. Okay. Uh, let us look at this. If you look at the response of the body, it is just recognizing and fulfilling. That famous example that we keep taking, you know, that if you are piercing a needle in the body, the response of the body is very definite. If your needle is harder than the skin of the body, it will go inside. Right? If the needle is softer than the skin of your body, it will not go inside. That recognition and fulfillment is very definite. When it comes to your response, if somebody is pricking a needle in your body, what will you do? Will you cooperate with him or oppose him? What will the self do? Right? So, based on the assumption, based on what you 
assume about the person who is piercing the needle you will either cooperate or you will oppose eh you will oppose yes so it will depend upon your assumption so your recognition and fulfillment depends upon your assumption and if your assumption changes your recognition and fulfillment will also change so that is the difference the recognition and fulfillment of the body is definite recognition and fulfillment of the self depends upon the assumption of the self if the assumption changes the recognition and fulfillment changes if assumption goes wrong recognition and fulfillment goes wrong right if assumption is right recognition and fulfillment is also right so what do we do so what we need to do is to have the right understanding you know knowing if we ensure right understanding ensure knowing then our assumptions will be set right and therefore our recognition and fulfillment will be set right and therefore we will have a definite conduct okay so as far as self is concerned we are operating with assumption assuming recognizing and fulfilling and what we need to do is to have the right understanding have the knowledge the knowing and if knowing takes place then my assuming will be set right my recognition and fulfillment will be set right and therefore my conduct will become definite okay so can you see these two thing number 1 the response of the body is different from the response of the self number 2 response of the self depends upon the assumption and if assumption has gone wrong recognition and fulfillment will go wrong therefore your conduct will go wrong if assumption is set right by way of having right understanding by way of knowing then my recognition and fulfillment will also become definite and it will be right so in these three ways i can differentiate between self and body right on the basis of the need of the self and the body on the basis of the activity of the self and the body and on the basis of the response of the self and the body the conclusion is that if you look at the human being <coughs> it is the coexistence of the world of material and the world of consciousness this body is material in nature the need of the body like physical facility is also material in nature it is fulfilled by physiochemical things which are also material in nature so this is a world of material if you look at the self the self is consciousness the need of this self which is respect happiness these are the activity of consciousness and it is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling which are also the activity of the consciousness so this whole thing is the world of consciousness so when it comes to the body everything is the world of material when it comes to the self everything is belongs to the world of consciousness so there are two parallel worlds you know coexisting in case of human being <coughs> and if we understand this we will be able to take care of both the world the world of material and world of consciousness and what we have been doing till now is we are trying to focus on the material world or world of material and expecting that this will ensure the fulfillment of the world of consciousness which does not happen yes quite some time on this because this is a very fundamental thing to understand okay this if you understand then the next point that we want to make which we said yesterday only that it is the self which is central to human existence 
This body is just an instrument. You use it the way you want. If it is not useful or helpful in making you happy, you are even willing to kill the body. Right? This committing suicide means I am willing to kill the body because in association with this body, I am not able to make myself happy. Isn't it? When, eh? Self is unhappy and self thinks that it is the body which is responsible. You call it Atmahatya, it is not Atmahatya. You know, it is killing the body, Sarirhatya. You know? yes. And who is taking the decision? Self. And who is killed? Body, right? Yes. And these people who commit suicide, if you look at it, you know, very funny things uh, they do. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In IIT Kanpur, you know, one student, he got less grade and all that and he decided to commit suicide. So he went up to the sixth floor, faculty building is sixth floor. Then he wanted to jump from there and then he looked down and he found it is too deep, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> he came down third floor, jumped from there, okay, he broke his legs and hands. But but who is making all this decision? Self, right? For whom? For the body. But such things we don't understand. Now we will be able to understand, you know, that ultimately it is the self who is central to human existence. And it is the happiness or unhappiness which is at stake. Body is just as an, used as an instrument and that's it. Can you see this point? Yes. So just like that, I understood the concept of what you told about the suicide thing. So like uh, we could see this among students and also the housewives who are living in villages. They are taking this as the solution. We I am seeing in newspapers in my close circle also. Like suicide thing you are telling, no. But by understanding the relationship between self and body, who is suffering, we could understand. So other we cannot teach all the UHV to them. Those who if I am going for an outreach program. If I wanted to talk regarding this topic, how I can make them very clear among the students and also the who are uh, living in the rural areas, this is happening. How I can, but the concept understanding behind this is very easy. Uh, like we should not uh, suff, make uh, body suffer by the way of uh, suicide. How I can make them understand, even though your husband is not helping you, he is a drunkard, whatever the situation, even in students level, no, I could not satisfy my parents' thing. So, I am taking this solution. If in that case, if I am making them understand, they are not at all understanding. They are in that position. How we, from your guidance, how I can make them uh, at least understand that? Like once they are suffering, making them understand may be uh, uh, different. But who are all not at all facing that situation as of now. But in case in future, if they feel frustrated, now, if we are making them clear, in future they will not go to that extent so that I am in safer condition. As a teacher, I can guide my students so that in future after he is uh, uh, with the 40 years or 50 years, he will not think about that situation at all. Because this is happening uh, at any age, whether it is educated or uneducated. If uh, they are educated, we will say... <laughs> Only they have only the technical knowledge, the ethics they are not understanding. That is why they took the solution like that we are reading in books. So what way we can make them understand whether educated or students or rural area uh, housewives like that? Yeah, in fact, uh, three days back we had a meeting with the, your deans and directors. And one of the issues that uh, we were discussing was that this counseling service, you know, the counseling work that goes on in um, uh, RS, what is the SRM, okay. There are around 100 people who are involved in counseling these students, okay. We said rather than calling it the counseling, call it as self-discipline 
student self discipline and counseling because the purpose is not just to help the students come out of this crisis but not to get into the crisis no? so the main issue is the self discipline okay i mean student self discipline and if despite that there is some problem then you help the student to come out so it was in principle you know agreed that we will try to work on this idea of student self discipline and counseling where on the one hand we will make sure that every student of srm has the right understanding and right feeling you know through proper you know education and then if somebody is not having that understanding and gets into this kind of problems then i can help him to develop this understanding and in the meantime at least out of my behavior my feeling and behavior with him i can connect to the other and give him a temporary you know kind of help ultimate the help comes when he has that understanding you know that feeling so that is one thing that we are trying to do and i think we should uh, work on it in more detail as far as the villagers are concerned if you have understood and if you are doing the outreach work my feeling is explaining it to the villagers is easier they are more you know down to earth people okay but then you have to understand it first if you understand and if you talk to them in their language in their you know ex- expressions it should be easier to do that and it should be done in fact uh, our feeling is that even people like rickshaw wala you know they are getting enough money right the con- the bad condition of their living is not because of the lack of money it is because of the lack of right understanding and right feeling so even to them if you can help explain this it will make a significant impact in their life yeah and we should try doing it okay one uh, last question bhaiya we are supposed to stop here ah uh, yeah your question and last question how to maintain this self uh, in the resolved state because uh, even for one hour we cannot keep ourselves in uh, one concentrated position but we have to achieve continuous happiness we need to think about right understanding within one hour itself i have so many things running in my mind i one got, i got one phone call i got disturbed uh, if it is very difficult for me how i will take it for my student because they are in the first year second year uh, first i want to keep myself uh, how much time it will take i don't know yeah today it is very difficult because i am already in a disturbed state and this is what we have been working on all the time for a disturbed state of mind but when we work on this right understanding and right feeling we find that we can be in a natural state of mind and that natural state of mind is something which you any want to any way want to continue with this agitation is there because of your set of assumptions which are not right because of those wrong assumptions you have agitated state of mind <coughs> when you understand what is natural for you and what is not natural for you and you are in that natural state then you will be in harmony and happiness and you would like to continue with that you would not need any effort it will be natural but it will take time why because you have accumulated so many of wrong assumptions you know so many of you know confused feelings all that you have accumulated that is making you restless so till you are able to look at them and evaluate them till you are able to come with this right understanding the right feeling the natural feelings and be with them this time is there you know this time requirement is there but this has to be done for myself and for the students both and for the whole society it will take time depending upon how much effort i am making on for it yes i was saying in in the first session 
that uh, in UHV3 we have half an hour break, right? So this half an hour break is given so that you now we fulfill all the in between needs completely, so that we will be completely free when we are in the session for the next two hours. So make sure in that way, like in half, whatever phone calls or whatever you do, you need to do, you complete it in that half an hour session and be completely present during the session. And lesser the movements, the better. So in the sense like if we are moving, it may be you know, triggering other people's also attention. So please take care of that. And keep, request you to keep the phone in silent mode in the bag itself, not to use in between. It's a request, right? So UHV3, Umesh Bhaiya was saying, no, it is a serious thing. Let's all be within the self completely. So expecting all your cooperation, collaboration in that terms. So welcome, uh, Inesh Ji, over to you. Okay, welcome everybody. <coughs> so the conclusion of the last session was that human being is not just the body, but the coexistence of self and body. The need of the two are different and they are fulfilled differently. The activities of the self is different from the activity of the body and the response of the self is different from the response of the body. In fact, all this put together, the conclusion is that the self and the body belong to two different worlds. The body depends to the world, belongs to the world of material, the self belongs to the world of consciousness, right? And if we have to understand human being, we have to understand both this world of material as well as the world of consciousness. So this was one important conclusion. The other important conclusion that uh, we will be able to draw out of a serious observation into this is that in this coexistence of self and body, it is the self which is playing a central role <clears throat> and body is just used as an instrument. This is an important conclusion that we are going to draw through this UHV 3. So as we said, through UHV 2, we are able to see that we are not just the body but coexistence of self and body. Now we will be able to see that it is the self which matters for human being. It is central to human existence and the body is just used as an instrument. So that shift has to take place. <coughs> With this clarity of the coexistence of self and body, now we can look deeper into the self <clears throat> if you look at the self and body and the transaction that is taking place between the self and the body, this also we talked about in EHB2, but let us recall it, that the transaction which is taking place between the self and the body is in the form of information. <coughs> Some instruction is being given by the self to the body and some sensation is read by the self from the body. 
So this is the only transaction taking place between the self and the body. So self is giving some instruction to the body and the self is reading some sensation from the body. Can you see this? That this is the only transaction taking place between the self and the body. Or is a, there any other transaction? <coughs> the transaction that is taking place between the self and body is only this. The self is giving some instruction to the body. For example, you felt like eating some sweet, right? So you instructed the body to walk to the sweet shop, take out the money, right? Pay the money, take the sweet, put it in the mouth, right? All these instructions you are giving. And what is the outcome of it? When you put that sweet in your mouth, okay, what happens? There is some sensation in the tongue, right? And you read that sensation. Okay? So, if you look at this whole process, you are giving some instruction to the body and you are reading some sensation from the body and that's it. So, I am giving some information to the body, I am taking some information from the body. That is all. No other transaction is taking place. As far as that sweet is concerned, once it is down the throat, it is going to be useful for the body or harmful for the body. But it has no use for the self. What did the self get? The information. Some sensation, right? And what did the self give? Some instruction, which is another set of information. So the only transaction that is taking place between you and the body is in terms of transaction of information. Can you see this? And in this transaction, who is taking the decision? Self or the body? Self. Both way the decision is taken by the self. It is the self who is deciding to give some instruction. It is the self who is deciding to take some, read some sensation from the body. Yes. Can you see this? Very important observation. But this is something which you have to observe, you know. For every transaction that you are making with the body, you should be able to observe this. That the transaction that I am making with the body is either in terms of <coughs> giving some instruction to the body <coughs> or in terms of reading some sensation from the body. Can you see this? Or is there any other transaction? Look at it because all the time you have been so busy with the body and you thought body is everything, right? And you keep decorating your body all the time. But this is the only transaction. Is it true? Is it not true? Think, look at it, reflect and tell me whether this is true or not true. The only transaction between the self and body is in the terms of 
self giving some instruction to the body or self reading some sensation from the body but yeah and both way the decision is taken by the self to instruct to the body or take some read some sensation from the body because anyway whole lot of sensations are going on in the body you don't read all of them so whatever you consider important you read but yeah that was my question like i as now lot of uh, uh, instruction and the sensations are happening suddenly uh, if i pass somewhere there is some pungent smell or uh, it's a good aroma the sensation is reading and i am giving an attention to read that sensation and even now my hands are shaking my head is nodding it is all happening in my body because the self is instructing me to talk not to talk or not not to not but i am not able to uh, capture every single transactions now i am trying to do this uh, uh, read this every single transaction happening between the self and the body um, more than awareness it is like i am missing i am missing that kind of thing is also happening yeah <coughs> slowly we will you know talk about this that as a self i am not aware of myself every moment that is the problem so i get into this forgetfulness i have become unaware of myself when i am unaware of myself then i cannot observe the transaction which i am doing with the body so slowly i have to start becoming aware of myself and ultimately i have to become aware of myself every moment so that awareness would be required then i will be able to see any transaction which i am doing with the body at that moment of time by a multiple transactions happening now at this moment i am speaking but at the same time my thoughts are having what to speak again the same moment my legs are stretching hands are so multiple even in the uh, that chana one second also thousands of thoughts it's i don't know how much the thoughts and things are going so how to get all these thoughts aware <laughs> yeah it looks very fast you know presently it seems that you are thinking your thought is very fast and you can't follow it slowly you will find that your capacity to see is much subtler and faster than the speed at which thoughts are going speed at which this transaction with the body is taking place so slowly i have to be in a state of awareness and state of pure observer from there i will be able to see my thoughts every thought that is going on every feeling that i have every sanskar that i have slowly i can become aware of them and when i can become aware of them and i if i can evaluate them then slowly it will also be, you know you will also see that you can guide them presently they are just going heavy here and there right you see feel as if you have no control right you have no control because you are not aware of them you have not eva- evaluated them if you become aware of them and if you evaluate them they will automatically start getting sorted out they will automatically start getting purified then you can decide you know what to feel what to think what not to think then only it, real terms it will be your feeling your thought presently what is happening is whole lot of preconditionings have been dumped into me i am a bundle of those preconditionings right and out of those preconditionings and out of the external circumstances lot of this desire thought and expectations keep taking place and i am not even aware of them but slowly i can become aware of each one of them i can be aware i can observe i can evaluate and if i do that right that purification of this desire thought and expectations will start taking place purification of the very sanskar will start taking place in fact what has happened is that till now we are not working with the self at all we have been all unaware of the self 
we thought as if it is not there only right <laughs> only body is there <coughs> now we are able to realize that body is there but self is also there right then we are able to realize that there is a coexistence of self and the body and when we start paying attention we will realize that it is the self which matters really okay the body is just being as an instrument used as an instrument if i can see that then i really start paying attention to the self paying attention to what is happening in the self and that is what we want to do next that now that the self and body two things are there and the decisions are taken by the self so which is more important the self or the body self now if self is more important then let's look at self now let us look at the self deeper right till now it was not there for me okay i was just the body or at least i thought that i was the body right now you realize that oh it is not just the body the body is there i am there the coexistence of the two is there now i realize that it is me who is taking the decision even while interacting with the body next question will be that if i am there you know centrally to this human existence what am i who am i what is going on in me all those questions we will ask and that is what we are going to discuss next you know and that these are two different things and there is an interaction between the two yes yeah her question is that what happens to the people when they are in coma so i my suggestion would be that let us start discussing for people who are not in coma and, <laughs> and <laughs> first and when we understand ourselves okay then then we will be able to i you know get an idea of what it would be when they are in coma yeah eh? Yeah. Yes, Bhaiya. Yeah. There is another self with somebody else. Even I have not seen the self. I don't know who they are, from where they are. They may be from different place. Still, sometimes I get opposition just by looking. Uh, what could be the reason? I have not talked to that person. I don't know what he is working. You may get opposition even without looking. Just even thinking of him, you may get opposition. <laughs> ऐसा क्यों होता है भैया वो मेरे को कुछ नहीं किया है मैं उसको नहीं जानता हूँ वो कहीं दूर से है मैं भी दूर से हूँ फिर भी कभी कभी लगता है कि अपोजिशन क्यों या बिकॉज यू ऑलरेडी हैव सम एजम्पन अबाउट हिम अदरवाइज इट विल नॉट हैपन आई विल गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल वी हैड ए वर्कशॉप इन कानपुर रिसेंटली यू नो एंड सम पीपुल coming from uh, gujarat okay and then one of them found that his reserve or her reserve is in a different compartment than the rest of the people you know some 12 people were coming okay now this lady got very frightened you know because she has an image of the people of uttar pradesh and bihar and this train is going from gujarat to bihar through uttar pradesh okay now just that imagination of traveling with people who are unknown in one sense but known in some other sense you know okay so you already have some notion about them some preconditioning about them and with that preconditioning you already have that feeling of opposition and feeling of fear so that assumption you already have you may not be aware of it otherwise how will you dis- for that feeling i'm feeling so, bad i'm feeling bad because i don't know him but why i should why i feel that uh, negativity but who decided for that feeling of opposition you yourself or somebody else 
maybe self self only yeah that means now you have to trace that if you decided for a wrong feeling for which you are feeling unhappy how did you decide it by natural acceptance i should not feel that exactly. i should feel the other is similar to me by natural acceptance you don't have to feel that uh, but i feel it by your assumption the wrong assumption you are having that feeling all this now you will be able to see <laughs> thank you bhaiya that you are making yourself unhappy by making a choice for a wrong feeling and this choice for a wrong feeling is made on the basis of some preconditioning that you already have in you about that person or about the similar persons so here one more question so this lady i was let me complete this example now this lady was very frightened you know now what to do and <coughs> anyway she had to travel so she entered into the compartment you know and two people sitting next to her one old man and then his son you know, or maybe grandson and when she entered these people were very helpful you know said come 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 you know sit and you know they gave a space put her luggage and all and she was surprised you know what is happening you know because she had a very different notion already so uh, and she was thinking you know after the train starts we will interchange you know this bogey because other people were there in their bogey but by the time those other people came another 15 20 minutes had passed she said now I'm very comfortable they are properly taking care of me but that is what happens yes yeah so yeah sometimes self give the direction to the body body is not obeying for example if i want to 10000 step to walk per day due to laziness i am able to achieve that target 3000 step 7000 step lose in that day because of laziness or tiredness or some other work i am able to achieve that task in that case what is your opinion what is your answer Think about yourself or about me <laughs> <laughs> if you are describing yourself then you have to give the answer okay see this you know these words like you thought that the bo- self uh, the body cannot move more than 3000 steps right whose decision is this self you have observed the condition of the body and you found that now it cannot walk any more so it is your decision okay then it is wastage of time whose decision is this self right if you still insist that the body has to walk body will walk few more steps till it falls down okay <laughs> that keeps happening isn't it yeah and in fact all this uh, pilgrimage is you know very interesting thing these people who have never walked more than 1 km they walk hundreds of kilometer right because that set of assumptions is there sitting in them okay that now you have to walk you know you have to complete those uh, which is that ayappa eh? sabri malai eh? how many steps eh huh? yeah they walk from different parts of the country you know already tired and then they climb up so difficult you know eh huh? and barefoot eh huh? huh? but so much of acceptance is there for it that if you instructing go ahead don't worry you know nothing will happen you know you will be taken care of keep going and they just complete in the normal circumstances same people would find it difficult to walk even few kilometers 
Who has this acceptance? Self or the body? Self. By a, here. Okay. Yeah. The body is like uh, breathing and uh, uh, climbing or uh, getting down the steps every day. Cautiously, we are not giving. Yeah, so, or driving, putting the brake when we see. Uh, so, this type of breathing, heartbeat, uh, these activities in the body. So, how we are uh, giving the instructions? Uh, every moment we are giving. Okay, I would say that to begin with, you keep two categories. One which you call as voluntary, one which you call as involuntary. Okay. So, at least for the voluntary action, you should be able to see this. Okay. Walking down the staircase. Have you ever noticed? When you start walking down the staircase, you are very cautious. You make very, you know, all decisions about what is it, you know, size of the step, you know, whether it is rough or smooth and things like that, okay. Then two, three steps, you are careful. Once you have made the judgment, then you think, no, I don't have to pay much attention. And then you keep climbing down. And suddenly, if there is one step which is smaller than the other or bigger than the other, you get a jerk, right? Then you are aware again, you know, something wrong. Then few steps you walk, like that. So, you can, now you start observing what is happening. So, for every step down, you are making a judgment, right? But because you have made the judgment and you think same step, you know, why involve myself much into it? So, you don't do that. But you are involving yourself, that you can see, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Similarly, driving, you are driving, you are talking, you are, you know, seeing things all around. But if your attention is withdrawn, there will be accident. You are paying that much of attention which is necessary. Till then, there is no accident. If you draw, withdraw even that much of attention, then there will be accident. Yes, thank yeah. you. But now all these things you have to start observing, you know. Yes. Uh, my question is, uh, these instructions uh, uh, given by uh, self to the body and uh, sensations are, are received from the body uh, by the self. There is an interconnectivity between them, means uh, is there any role of generating sensations uh, uh, from the body by the self? Because, uh, for example, why I got this question is, uh, if I see the, uh, some snake is passing beside us, then if we won't see, then we won't uh, uh, have any sensations. If we observe that, immediately, because of observed by the self, then we have some sensation from the body. So, I have doubt. Yeah, the sensation in the body is, can take place because of the three types of input. One is something coming from outside, okay. Second is something happening in the body. Third is something happening because of the instruction from the body, from the self. So, these three possibilities are there. And if you look at the input coming from outside, there can be two types of them. One can be the behavior of the other person. Second can be the physiochemical conditions outside. For example, somebody, you know, says something, those words have effect on your body. This is the behavior part. Temperature is very hot, right? It has some impact in your body. So, some sensation is generated because of that. So, this is one set coming from outside. The other set is that something is happening in your body, right? You have eaten food and digestion is taking place, right? So, something is happening. Therefore, there is some sensation. Third is, the self is giving some instruction, right? Then also there is some sensation in the body, some changes in the body taking place and there is for some sensation. So, these are three different categories and one of them have another subcategory, you know, two subcategories. 
So all this is are there, and you will be able to see you know them as different kind of inputs or different effects in the body, creating some sensation. So sensations uh, because of uh, self uh, from the body, uh, self uh, obviously read that sensations without neglecting. Not yeah, necessarily. In ah. fact, the self makes the decision whether to read the sensation or not read the sensation, depending upon whether whether it considers it important or it does not consider it important. That is always there in the self. Otherwise, already if you see, so many sensations are taking place in the body. Do you read all of them? No. <coughs> I am asking the sensations because of self in the body. The, those sensations, uh, reflection of those sensations will be read by uh, self. Not necessarily. Definitely. Even that, you know, for example, this example you took, you know, I look at a snake and get frightened, right? Now I send some instruction to the body and there is some effect in the body, okay? But I necessarily read back is not necessary. <coughs> I may start focusing more attention on the snake rather than what is happening in my body. But all this you have to start observing. And you can observe that whole lot of sensations are taking place in the body. For example, if you take this case, you know, there is some noise. What is that noise? Fan, you know? AC. 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 Right? So there is a noise or there is a sound of the AC and there is a sound of what I am saying. Right? Which one you are listening to? Sound of my voice, right? Yes. And when you don't understand what I'm saying, you start listening to the sound of the AC, right? <laughs> yes. And who is making the choice? Self. As far as body is concerned, both these sensations are taking place in the body out of this, you know, my speaking something or that sound coming from AC. You are making the judgment, you are making the selection every moment and you should be able to understand this. So reading this sensation from the body is my choice of the self. Giving instruction to the body is also my choice of the self. Bhaiya. Hello. Bhaiya? Yes. yes. Who is yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in continuation with Sa's uh, discussion, so he said like uh, that 10,000 steps he wants to walk uh, uh, a day but he couldn't complete. That is a decision taken by the self to the body, towards the body. Uh, can we take like it's an, a wrong assumption that uh, self <coughs> taken towards the body? Yeah, it can take a wrong uh, assumption give instruction, then it finds that it is not possible for this body to move, then it can revise. What is the problem? Oh. Next day we can keep 3000 steps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As a target. Drop the idea, come back, you know, oh. it's okay. okay. After all, you have to decide. Okay. Thank you, Ria. I have a doubt. Here, I am here. Yes. So, uh, uh, if, if our body gets injured uh, or uh, it got hurt, so at that time we'll feel uh, the pain. So the sensation uh, from our body is pain. So how far the self will get affected? Whether our feeling will uh, be affected because of the pain in our body? This is also very interesting, you know. For example, if somebody is playing football, okay, and he is hurt, okay, and the, you know, the legs start bleeding, okay, but he is engrossed in the, you know, play, what will happen? 
he will continue to play right everybody in the ground who is watching the game they will feel very you know uncomfortable about it but for him there is no pain not because there is no pain but the self is not taking note of it right then there is an interval and then he sees you know bleeding and it gets fainted right? okay now what is happening the same phenomena was happening in the body the self was not paying attention now it has paid the attention now it is affected by it right so all this can happen so if you start observing then you will see what is happening really you know how you are interacting with your body one question yes one lata ji right yes yes why yes. i am trying to remember names of some, some of the people i have not remembered till now but yes why are during adolescence age uh, due to hormonal secretion um, children will get that sensation whether we parents we need to talk to them directly whether we teachers we can talk to them directly should we need to do that or should we not to do that that is the confusion within us what we need to do we need to guide them properly which sensation they need to take because uh, these problems we are facing in colleges no that girl boy attraction all these are happening most problems are happening because of that also some clashes are between the students okay that is happening uh, because of this issues because of this adolescent age how to manage this whether we need to do counseling or mentoring what way we need to talk to them that is the confusion we are having should we need to talk to them directly or not directly should we need to make them to understand the body is having some biological changes within them should we need to openly talk to them or not this is the confusion <coughs> i was just telling about the self discipline and counseling right we have to work for the student self discipline okay that is what we have to do and in order to do that we have to talk about all this right whether he is in adolescence or otherwise if we can understand the self if we can understand the body if we can understand this transaction taking place between the self and the body and he can understand with you know what is the source of happiness for him is sensation the source of happiness or the right understanding and right feeling is the source of happiness if he understands all this then he will be able to observe these sensations and he will be he or she will be able to decide what to do with it rather than getting influenced by it today what is happening is that for them it is just the body and the sensation is the only source of happiness so you are already stuck with all those problems when there is a visible or significant change at the level of sensation because of the hormonal change they don't know what to do with it and they are stuck but if they have this clarity then they will be able to understand what is happening and they will not depend upon this sensation as the source of happiness or unhappiness so they will be able to see this sensation and make the right interpretation of what to do with it okay yeah at least today you know the issue <coughs> the issue of discussion is made whether we give them exposure about this or we don't give exposure about this right the real answer is that we have to give them exposure about the self about the body about the transaction between the self and the body whether this source of happiness is in right understanding and right feeling or it is in getting you know favorable sensation and favorable feeling what is that that clarity has to come then they will be able to decide what to do with it
Baya, I have a doubt, Baya. Here. Oh. Here. Uh, this is the question related to ex Kamala Nandini. This is the question related to expectation. Uh, I personally feel that I can control my expectation. I can identify what to expect and what not to expect. So uh, I'll give it with an example. So I'm working in a concern and there are some higher officials who is appointing a work to me. And I am perfectly doing all those works. And next time they are deciding to give the same work to me. But there are some add-ons to that work which are very new to me. So in that case, how will I meet the expectation of the other? Especially the higher official. But they feel that I don't meet their expectation. They? They feel that I don't meet their expectation. I'm not able to give the outcome which they expect. So how should I deal with that case? Very complicated. <laughs> Communication, right? Yes. I mean, I cannot give any ready-made solution to this because, you know, this, uh, these organizations which are not based on relationship, okay, this kind of problem will go on taking place, okay. <laughs> you have whole lot of target that you have fixed, okay. And then there are tasks and subtasks and all that. Then you have some people who are there to deliver that task. And then you find that, you know, there is a rule. 80% of the, 20% of the people do 80% of the work, you know. So you find those 20% who will do, right? <laughs> Catch them, encourage them, give them more responsibility, right? And this goes on. Now, under such situation, it is very difficult to give a very definite answer. Okay. And this person who is giving you assignment or responsibility, he also is given some responsibility from the stop. Okay. Same problem there also. So, there is no clarity, there is no definiteness, there is no relationship clearly defined. You know. Then, how do you tell, you know, a kind of what will be the right thing to do there? So, I, I for one would not be able to give you an answer to this, but I mean if as a uh, kind of suggestion, I would say that I from my side at least should be able to communicate to the other, you know, about what is my, you know, capacity, my competence, okay. So, if I can do it, I tell that yes, I can do it, if I cannot do it, I can tell that, you know, this is not within my capacity or I will try it. If I can do it, I will do it. Otherwise, you know, I will let you know whether I am able to do it or not. <coughs> but I am saying there is no clear cut solution. These are problems, these are the organizations which are already based on certain ways which are not natural. Huh? Yeah, so this, you know, that's what I said, it is not based on relationship, which means it's just trying to, you know, get the maximum out of the other, in regard of whether he's happy with it or unhappy with it, whether he's able to deliver it, he's not able, able to deliver it. So that relationship is not there, you know, just, I mean, I don't want to use those words, you know, but it's more like a management, you know, more like a kind of, you know, manipulation. You know? So you are somehow trying to get things done. Because you do not have that feeling of relationship. If I have the feeling, I will try to understand you. This session. 
right from the beginning we are saying if you have any question you can immediately ask okay many times people say that okay let us discuss the content then they will we will respond but if i see you with a feeling of relationship i realize that you know we are saying things which are very meaningful for and important for you and if you don't understand one thing i cannot go on to the next thing right you know so it is better that you know i you know kind of respond to your question and then same kind of question is asked 10 times bhaiya i just take a minute so <laughs> but you can understand you know because we are talking about things which are which you are not introduced to right slowly you are getting feel of what is being talked about right and when you get a feel of what is being talked about then you are asked the question till then you have not understood anything anyway so when you are asking the question repeating the question for you it is not a repeat for me it is a repeat right that feeling of relationship has to be there so we have to make them feel that there is a need to have that feeling of relationship which is fulfilling for them and also for the other this is what i'm saying that this has become conditional relationship but existentially there is a relationship between any two person whether we realize it or not and that feeling of relationship is going to make you happy or absence of it is going to make you unhappy this realization has to come in this person you know who is sitting at the top <coughs> we keep telling this you know why this person on the top is made more you know that why they are paid more because they are in opposition if they are managing 10 people the unhappiness of each one of them is there but unhappiness of this person who is managing 10 people it is 10 times he is 10 times more unhappy than each one of you so he should be paid more you know compensation right <laughs> there is a force from up and you are also forcing so there is a feeling of opposition from the top there is a feeling of opposition from the bottom so you all the time you are unhappy that is what we are trying to understand you know yes sumate ji ji bhaiya i'll come to the, back to you ha ji bhaiya bhaiya actually as a associate professor i am handling 60 students in the class so i can able to maintain the discipline within the class but as a parent it is a very challenging situation for me to handle two kids at my home so in in the aspect of uh, uh, giving them mobile because uh, since their summer holidays has started they are using the mobile see even i i don't know how to uh, uh, par- that is how to uh, make them to understand if i say sometimes they are understanding but again they are co- coming back to their original position so again they start playing i don't know how to manage my kids ha huh? reach no no i, I cannot uh, stop recharging because i have to contact them <laughs> uh, even i have made that unlock they they i locked it they they, they made they, they they did something they unlocked face unlock <laughs> they have done see whatever i am doing they are unlocking yeah yeah it's common in all the families so is there any uh, solution for this <laughs> yeah so my observation is i'll put that observation <coughs> number 1 there is lack of relationship you know we are not able to give time to each other okay that's one major issue second issue is that they have nothing more important to do our whole lifestyle has become such that they do not have constructive things to do 
No. If they don't watch mobile, what will they do? What are the options available? Eh? And, and nothing constructive to do at home, right? They have the chance of moving outside. They will play cricket also. Apart from that, uh, they are expecting the mobile also to play, to play in the mobile also. Yeah, so let us think about it. I mean, I would say, for example, if they take the responsibility of managing the house, right, if that is an integral part of their, you know, uh, life, then they will spend time doing that, right. If they have to do something constructive, they will do that, they will prefer to do that. If you are there playing with them or if they are playing among each other, you know, then they will not look at the mobile. Right? But because there is that lack of relationship, you are in isolation, the other is in isolation, because there is nothing constructive to do, right? they are just trying to pass their time. Work out that, you know, and we all should do it because this is a problem of most of the, you know, family now. Yeah. Remember, you know, one, uh, this IIIT Hyderabad, when we were conducting this workshop, one fellow from Rajasthan, you know, he was in final year and he was very seriously, you know, pursuing this. So, throughout the workshop, he will be there. And morning, 9 o'clock, he is there, sitting through 1 o'clock, you know, asking all kind of questions. Then he will come back with me to my room. You know, then I will peel some, you know, this uh, papi uh, papaya and all this. And he will keep sitting and talking to me. Then I will cut it and I will offer to him. He will also eat, I will eat, you know, and this will go on. And he will keep asking questions. So one day I just told, asked him that it seems that your parents have not, you know, given any work to you, you know. He said, yes, yes, yes. how do you know? He said, you know, when some guest comes and I want to serve water, my mother would say, you leave it, I'll take care of it, you go and study. Right? But then he said, how did you come to know this? I said, very simple, you are asking me question for four hours, then you come here, right? I do the peeling up of the fruits, you know, I cut it and I offer to you, you eat and you keep asking, right? <laughs> you have never asked, you know, that, okay, I can do it, you know? <laughs> right. Now, this is the kind of, you know, situation that we are in, the kind of education that we are giving. So, get them involved in taking care of the responsibility. They will be able to do it very well. Yeah. Yes, Lataji. Sir, um, actually, this uh, all uh, sensations are good or uh, are bad. All sensations are bad uh, because when we um, uh, showed the uh, imagination, uh, source, sources of imagination as a pie chart, uh, we show it as preconditions, sensations and natural acceptance. So, uh, that means all sensations are bad. That is the uh, implication, no? Pie chart. of continuous happiness for you. So, if you are depending upon them, you are likely to get into trouble. That is the meaning of it. Uh, no, some of the, for example, my, uh, um, my um, hand burns. It is a sensation. So, it is a natural acceptance uh, to protect my body, no? So, that sensation I have to take care of. For example, I have, uh, I have some uh, digestive juices. So, I have to take care of that and it is not a bad sensation, no? 
Yeah, yeah. We are not saying don't take care of the sensation. We are only saying that if you try to make sensation as the source of continuous happiness, then there is a problem. That is all that we are saying. Otherwise, certainly you will take care of the sensation. If there is a burnt in the body, you will do something about it. If there is a feeling of, you know, if there is a sensation of hunger in the hunger, body, uh. you will certainly feed the body, right? If there is cold, you will cover the body. All those things you will do anyway. But this feeling that you can get continuity of happiness through sensation, that is going to have problem. That is what we are saying only. Otherwise, we take care of the sensation, you know. Like, we are using the sensation to communicate. I am speaking something and you are listening, right? And you are reflecting over it. We are using sensation you know, for this purpose. So, sensations have to be rightly utilized. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is one important conclusion. With this, there are some observations. I am, my body is, I want to live, my body is used as an instrument. Can you see all these things? Very simple, simple statement, but very meaningful statements. I want to live with continuous happiness. Physical facility is required for nurturing, protection and diet utilization of the body. To understand and to live in harmony at all levels of being, from self to entire existence, is my program of action for continuous happiness. Is that clear? Yes. Production, protection and right utilization of physical facility is a part of my program. Less than one fourth. So I will certainly take care of the physical facility. I will certainly take care of the sensation. Right? But all this is for ensuring my harmony with the body. Right? When it comes to my continuity of happiness, I have to understand the harmony at all levels of my being and have that feeling of harmony at all levels of my being, right? Feeling of relationship. So, to understand and to live in harmony at all levels of my being is what is required for my continuity of happiness. Just by physical facility, just by sensation, this continuity of happiness cannot be ensured. This is what is being said. Is that clear? That does not mean that you don't take care of the physical facility. That does not mean that you don't take care of the body, don't take care of the sensation. You have to take care of it, them as part of your total program. But that itself is not the total program. That should be clear. Can you see this? Are you focusing just here or here as well as here? <coughs> Both. I am the seer, the doer, the enjoyer, enjoyer or experiencer, right? I use the body as an instrument for fulfillment of my program. So, I am at the center, I am the seer, I am the doer, I am the experiencer and I am using the body as an instrument as and when I feel necessary. Can you see this for yourself? Or there is any question on this? The center, the body is used as an instrument. I am the seer, I am the doer, I am the enjoyer and I am using this body as an instrument. Is this clarity there, not there?
by actually this production protection and right utilization of physical facility is part of my program for understanding harmony and living in harmony in all four levels i need physical facility individual level and also for my relationship there also i need physical facility in the family level <coughs> and fulfilling my responsibility <coughs> in this level of society also in all four levels i need physical facility then how can i say that it's less than 1/4 if it is only for individual level i can say that it is less than 1/4 but sometimes maybe in other three levels also yeah see ultimately if you look at your interaction with the body you will find that you are hardly interacting with the body less than 1% of your time most of the time you are operating at the level of self this clarity has to come i was giving that example you know less than 1% of time she is responding to what i am saying rest of the time she is reflecting on what i have already said right so it is 1/4 is also very large percentage ha yeah you can calculate it respect to time effort you know resources all that put together if you see how much of it is spent over physical facility how much of it is spent for happiness so the main concern of you is to get this continuity of happiness out of which some part is related to the physical facility and this physical facility is used for nurturing protection and right utilization of the body my body or the body of my relative or any person in the society right or even in terms of something to be done at the level of nature and regarding this physical facility you will slowly realize that so much of it is already happening in this nature not that you have to do everything right bhaiya the physical facility uh, for myself i can able to calculate very easily what are the needs for me uh, while you considering for family it is very difficult to calculate uh, the inflation of uh, education as well as health care uh, so since it is a matter of uh, uh, quantity uh, can you propose any numbers uh, how much i can accumulate uh, or any individual any average number can you propose since it is quantitative i am asking <coughs> we I have done something in EHB two that ultimately the physical facility is required for nurturing of the body, protection of the body, and right utilization of the body. That calculation each one of us can do. Now coming to this education, you know, health system. Now all these have become so exploitative, right? that it has become all open ended then how do you decide you are stuck now you have a society which is based on exploitation not based on justice there everybody is trying to exploit as much as they can so everything has become open ended how can you decide 
today if you fall sick how will you decide you know what worth of sickness you will have right 10 lakhs 20 lakhs 1 crore if you go to the hospital they will find out how much money you have and they will tell you this much illness you have right okay <laughs> how will you decide same thing now happening with the education they are willing to take 10 lakhs rupees for the same course or 1 crore for the same course right how will you decide neither you can decide nor they can decide the whole government can decide you know very difficult but to begin with you can decide it for yourself okay the need for food need for clothes need for you know for you know uh, protection you know from the environment all those things you can decide and most of the time you will find that you already have more than what is required that exercise we keep giving about how many clothes you have right you always find that you have so many clothes much more than what is required for you but did you feel that that it you already had more than what is required before the workshop you did not feel after the workshop at least you feel you know but then these questions are still open about the school fees you know about the medical you know expenditure yeah yeah i mean all have to understand finally okay that's <laughs> that's uh, where it is okay any other question on this yeah we will do that Uh, uh most of the time as we have already got the explanation that there is interaction between the self and the body in the level of exchange of information so when i feel i am a doer i am enjoyer and i am a seer that is again the level of information only because there is no material exchange now she said in the case where we normally find a dichotomy but here there is no dichotomy it's very clear that i am enjoyer doer and seer but this is only an information that is taken by the self and the self is only passing the information to the body parts that see as the explanation you have already given about the taking of something for uh, our uh, hunger now if i take something for my hunger i have taken it for the body that information is with me so in that sense i am an enjoyer <laughs> but actually there is no material transaction in between my body and me so that is uh, one uh, bit of explanation uh, that i think Uh, is required over here because sometimes that uh, you know uh, gives uh, us in a very confused state uh, it it begins with such sort of dichotomy like main nahi ma khan khai and main nahi ma khan khai so in, i am enjoying just as information i am and main nahi ma khan khai that is just an information and main nahi ma khan khai because there is no material exchange in between the self and the material yes sir over to you to to this you have to experience for yourself you know that the decision is taken by me things are seen by me decisions are taken by me and whatever is the outcome i am the enjoyer or the experiencer of it body is just used as an instrument okay body is not taking the decision body is not seeing the things right it's me who is seeing the things and body is not one which is suffering 
I am suffering, you are suffering. You know? Yes. I have a request to make, you know. The second line is, if you can come in front, it will be good. Because if I don't see your face, I am not very clear whether I am able to connect to you or not. So the first line is vacant. So those who are in the second line, if they can come in the first line or come somewhere here, it will be easier for me to track, you know. This is there, you know, this chair is there, there is one chair there. Because it is my responsibility to ensure that I am able to communicate with you meaningfully, okay. So if you go too far and, you know, if I am not able to see face to face, then it is difficult for me. <coughs> okay. So the point I wanted to make here is that the main thing is this. This is the main program. This is a part of it. Is that clear? This is the main program. This is just a part of the program. So, look at that, okay? <laughs> now, this last thing, seer means the one who sees, the one who understands. That is the meaning of seer. For example, if you are given something in your hand and you conclude that it is a pen, it is not your eyes that concludes this. It is, the, it is you, the self, that concluded this. The self sees via the eyes, right, if necessary. The eyes don't see themselves. What do you think? Eyes see or the self sees? Self, sees. self right? Okay. Like that, all the five senses are just the instruments that enable the self to see something outside, okay? When you have to see something outside, you take help of the senses. When you have to see things inside, do you need the help? No. You don't need help. Good. Just like you see outside, you can also see within without using the sensation in the body as a means to see. For example, you can see that you are feeling happy, getting angry. Can you see all this? Yes. For this, do you have to take help of your body senses? No. Good. Thus, it is the self who sees or understands, sometimes with the help of the body, sometimes without the help of the body. Is it clear? Yeah. In the process of seeing, the body is used as an instrument as and when necessary. Are you able to see this? Too many statements. Huh? It is the self who is seeing, right? Using the body as and when necessary. When it comes to seeing things within, it does not need to use the body at all or the body senses at all. Any question on this? <clears throat> Very important shift. Till now you thought it is the body who is seeing, right? So if you don't have eyes, you think you can't see. But the blind man can see or not see? See. Many times it can see finer than you can see. Right? Yes. Sir, one, one small... Yes. Actually, when I underwent one uh, workshop under Wipro uh, 10 years back, 
they gave me a situation if you are entering uh, a classroom uh, as a first time uh, how much time it will take uh, brain uh, to decide about the teacher by the students so they that answer is 6 seconds or 10 seconds maybe so within that if the students are deciding about me i have not yet started my classes but the speed of the brain uh, they told us like within a few seconds it will decide that students will decide my attitude or uh, like that even i saw, i heard uh, the same statement from uh, stage speakers also the way i am entering the stage itself i will uh, beat other uh, persons that attitude i will have within a 10 seconds like that so this condition the students are deciding uh, to with the thing uh, like which thing i can relate whether uh, their self is seeing me or what is their brain uh, thing <coughs> i mean my observation is that these kind of statements are made with the assumption that body is everything without any notion about the self by you our know, brain uh, decide very fast i think sometime but self can decide faster than the brain okay oh <coughs> self and self takes enough time to decide you okay. are always willing to review okay review process yes review is there means it is okay and ultimately what the self gives importance to is the relationship okay so this man who looks however smart he looks if he does not have a feeling of relationship okay you will discard him or her then if he does not have right understanding you will discard but all these things don't come into play because you think you know all that is there is physical facility the world outside and you know your body your sensation the moment you bring in the self you know you can decide um, you can see for yourself how much you are taking time to decide for others somebody as they were saying you know 15 minutes attention time but if something is of your interest you can sit for hours right it depends upon the interest of the self isn't it in way uh, even if we have so i want to the clarity only not even we i had enough experience to understand but i want to check like how what you are suggesting like even after we uh, like had a relationship for a year or um, two years or three years then uh, their phases are changing like their way of that is a problem with the there is no feeling of relationship means it will come like that yeah that understanding is okay so what you had decided in five, six seconds uh, you keep changing keep changing every next moment okay <laughs> so okay the self is finally going to decide in con- with continuity if there is right understanding there is right feeling otherwise it will keep op- you know questioning it all the time okay the doer doer means one that does who takes decision to do so doing has to do with taking the decision for what to do so if i am taking the decision and doing something through the body also who is the doer the self or the body right so i am taking the decision i am using the body as an instrument as and when necessary whose responsibility is this self or the body self self is the one who decides self decides what to do what not to do the body is used to express the decision of the self if required for example self instructs the body to walk and body walks however self may or may not use the body to execute its decision for example to think is my decision 
I do that thinking within myself, the body has no role to play. I decide which feeling to have, right? Which thought to have. And on the basis of that feeling and thought, I am happy or unhappy. Am I involving the body? No. It has consequence for me. Does it have consequence for me? Yes. If I decided to have a wrong feeling, I am unhappy. That is the consequence. Nothing has happened outside. Yesterday I was taking that example, you know. You are thinking of taking revenge from someone for two hours and then you drop the idea. Outside you have done nothing. Body is not involved. What happened to you? You were unhappy for two hours, right? Can you see all this? Yes, suffering so much for the other, without the other knowing it. <laughs> so the body is used as an instrument, as and when required. It is the self who is the doer, who is taking the decision to do. And ultimately, it is the self who is the enjoyer. Enjoyer means the one that experiences happiness or unhappiness. I am the one that feels enthused or depressed. I am the one that feels angry or delighted. I am the enjoyer, the experiencer. So if you go, do good, something good, who feels happy? Self or body? Self. Right? If you suffer for doing something wrong or taking some wrong decision, who is suffering? Self. Body has no problem. Somebody abused you, okay? Body will pass on that information that this sound has come. Now you become happy or unhappy is your decision. Right? And then you decided to give some abuse to the other and you instructed the body. Body will do it, right? And somebody hits back at the body. Body has no problem. Body will pass you the information that it has been hit, right? You decide whether to be happy or unhappy about it. Imeshi, I have a question. Yes. So, when I say that uh, I, as the pure observer, do I experience this happiness or unhappiness as a pure observer? Yeah, ultimately you will find that when you are at the level of pure observer, then you are in a state of continuous happiness. That is the state where you can really be in a state of continuous happiness. If you are anywhere below that, you are likely to get into trouble. That we will see. That only when your center of being is that pure observer, that you can be in a state of harmony and happiness in continuity. If you are op operating at the level of, you know, assumptions, at the level of sanskar, at the level of feeling, at the level of thought, you are likely to get into trouble. We will see yeah. those details. Yes. Yes, by by one question. Yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, so, medical illness, whether it is felt with the self or with the body, if illness, if we... Yeah, the body has some problem physically. Okay. And yes. you identify that there is some problem in the body. Yes. So, when it comes to feeling this illness, it is by the self. When it comes to something happening in the body, that is at the level of body. The pain that we feel, it is with the body or it is with pain, the self? Pain is a uh, joint process. Uh -huh. Because, see, there is something happening in the body. Yes. And you are not reading that sensation. Is we are there, getting the sensation. Eh? We are getting the sensation. No, suppose, uh. like somebody comes, you know, and you are, you have been screaming, you know, Margya, you know, and this, that. Yeah. 
and somebody comes to meet you what happens you are busy talking to the other person right who yes. has come then he goes away again you starts the screaming okay now what happened the pain was there not there the condition of the body is bad mm. i was not paying attention to it so there was no pain i was busy talking to the other person when that condition of the body is there both the cases now i am paying attention and i am feeling the pain right. depending on the severity huh? depending on the severity of the pain sometimes both body and self it feels na no? yeah so the problem is there in the body yes but when do i become unhappy about it when i pay attention read the sensation and i feel that it is an undesirable you know uh, state then i feel unhappy um the problem in the body is continues to no, be no for example a patient comes out immediately of the surgical theater out at that time at that point of time the patient will feel really the painful moments at the icu yeah. so at that point of time uh the terminology is it is unhappiness happiness may be yeah i am alive i have come back i have recollected my uh, drowsiness and other things immediately i have been recovered from the anesthesia that happiness will be there within the self and happiness may be there partly depending on the painful things and the other body that is accepting everything yeah true thank you see how much importance i give to the sensation right i am affected by it or not affected by it so there can be whole range of it some people who are too sticky about the body any small problem in the body they get so affected by it right so the whole range would be there you have to decide for yourself how much you are you know uh, kind of uh, affected by the body that is your choice yeah so seer doer and enjoyer we'll come back to this b1 b2 b3 you know before that we talk about the b1 the higher activities of self in this block is main seer it is able to see the reality in relationship harmony and coexistence which is the essence definite universal continuous that's what i was saying you know ultimately you are seer in the real sense when you are at the level of b1 you know the pure observer the doer the decision to do outside is taken by the b2 this imagination part of you and the enjoyer is both at the level of b1 as well as at the level of b2 i'll come back to this you know when we discuss some more details ah uh, bhaiya ah here here bhaiya here okay ha uh, i in continuation is uh, uh, in phantom question i experimented the same uh, once i had a cut in my hand uh, recent two months back i was just checking is it paining or not it is paining but not all the time uh, when i called my papa and told i got cut in my hand i was just talking to my papa and i didn't read that pain again once the phone i kept down again i see oh blood is coming it's paining see i am reading the sensation but while giving the concentration on other thing or most important thing than this i'm not reading the sensation so i could able to see that the self is seeing the sensation um and it's changing continuously it is reading sometimes it is not reading reading not reading so just continuing with what you are trying to say sir we will be able to see very clearly you know as we go on so we are not insisting on this because we feel that it takes time to you for you to see all these things you know 
So we'll draw your attention towards it and leave it for you to keep working on it. Bhaiya, can I tell something? Yes. I have lots of lifelong medical related issues in my family. And recently I was infected with a typhoid two, three months before. It did not cure for me. Okay, then I said what my mother said when she was suffering. She is a cancer survivor for the past 30 years, 35 years. Okay. Uh, she went to an extreme stage, 2022. That time, she said one word and just sentence in Tamil. Minji, minji pona enna pavum, usir dana pavode. That that is the sentence she used to tell. Finally, what will happen? The life will go. That's all. Okay, my soul will go out of the body. That's all, na. For that, why you are worrying? She used to tell the statement. When the doctor pricked her, na, typhoid, I, they you will not get the line. But, uh, four times outside hospital, they were treated me. But uh, the typhoid did not uh, subside, recently in Feb this year. So when they pricked here, I screamed like anything. I can't bear the pain. Then I remember the uh, sentence which she told when she was struggling. Okay. So then the next second time when the same nurse came for pricking in this zone. Again four or five times I had a pricking for uh, IV. No other go. Once you give the IV only it gets cured. So when I remember the sentence, I got an intimation not to worry about it. They will prick. The vein, it will go. What will happen? Whether the vein will break or something will happen. So, if I am consciousness, having the consciousness, I can take care of myself. If I am not having uh, consciousness, if I am ICU, I do not know what is going to happen. So, that will be the state. That is what I want to tell to infant amount. <coughs> so, the struggle will come for everyone. But how much extreme you face the struggle, that will make a person to decide what to do at that time. I got this experience after seeing my mother struggle. Then I told my husband, Minji, Minji, pona enna, usir dana The same words I told him. Yeah. He said, don't worry, I will save you. <laughs> I said, I am not worrying at all. You are worrying for me. Okay. So this is one. At lesser age itself, I have seen a spinal cord surgery. I went to a stage where I cannot walk. They went for a cutting. I, I told doctor, I can't bear the pain. It will fully prick the leg till the end. They said tomorrow I need to go for the surgery at the emergency because it went to an extreme level. I said, doctor, better save or better kill. That is the words I gave to them because I can't bear the pain. This, So in that case, I do not have a self-control. But I realized that control right now, this three months before. That is my experience. And one more thing why I would like to tell you is I think self is connected with soul because after a human die, the soul will go to hell or heaven, we don't know, we are not seeing. But when a self is connected with soul, as in, I didn't do yoga, they used to say in yoga, seven chakra are there in spinal cord. When all the seven chakras are aligned together, definitely self might have a control with soul. That is why saints do not have any response to any actions in their life. They are able to make their soul Travel. Suppose if I am a saint, I can make my soul enter supraja and supraja soul can enter into mine. This. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bhaiya. Regarding this last issue, you know, uh, we'll talk about this, some, you know, uh, something about these things at the end. Because uh, first we should be able to... Uh, understand the difference between the body and the self and we should be able to see that it is the self which is playing a central role. Then we will look at the self in depth, you know. Then we will take up this last issue that you have mentioned. So let, let us look at the self now. The self, what do you think, where are you operating now at the level of self? You are operating here or you are operating here. What are the possibilities, you know, of activities in the self? Are you aware of this? Acquainted with this? No. Yes. Very good. What do you think? Most of the time, where are you operating at the level of self? In this yellow one or this violet one? What do you think?
Ya. <coughs> so take time to decide, but most of the time you are here. And that is the trouble. Because if you are just operating at the level of imagination, there is no definiteness. <coughs> Only when you are able to operate here, that, that definiteness comes, that universality comes, right? We will try seeing that, you know, as we go ahead. So this violet one B1 is really the place where you can see things as they are. So you are seer in the real sense. This B2 is the place where you take decision about how to, you know, interact with the world outside. Right? So that decision is taken at the level of B2 this yellow thing, there you are the doer and both B1 and B2 depending upon whether you are able to see things or not able to see things correctly, whether you have the right feeling and right thought or not having right feeling and right thought, you feel happy or unhappy. So that enjoyer is there at the level of B1 as well as the level of B2. <coughs> the details we will see. You know. We'll, as we go further, we'll see this more detail. This again, we'll see these details, you know, we'll come back. This, what is happening at the level of realization, what is happening at the level of understanding, what is happening at the level of contemplation, and based on that, what is happening at the level of imagination. I'll not get into the details right now. I have just place it for you to keep in mind. When we expand on this, we will come back and you know discuss. Keep this image, you know, in your mind. We'll yeah, this image was there from uh, UHV introductory onwards. We were checking what is that empty box, empty box. UHV do they opened this, <laughs> but they say let's get into it. UHV three. At least this time we should understand what is this. Yes. <laughs> Very purposefully we keep some things, you know, explicit and something we keep for you to wait. So whatever is made explicit, if you are able to see that, then those higher things can be now looked into and understood. Otherwise we give lot of information and you are not able to make sense of it. <coughs> so we will talk about these things, you know. Now, I have just placed this for you to keep in mind, which we will discuss as we go on. <clears throat> and still, you know, this is how it would look like, the human conduct would look like. That with right understanding, we have the right feeling and right thought and with that we have the right behavior, right work and right participation in the larger order. Then things will start falling in order. You know. So this is another picture you should keep in mind. That is your picture, huh? Yes. <coughs> this is the picture of a human being with right understanding, right feeling and right thought, right behavior, right work and right participation in the larger order. <coughs> this is the human being living with human conduct. through, you know, we will slowly unfold each of these things. you the description of you living as a human being, right, with divinity, 
Yesterday somebody was talking about divinity, right? So you have understood the divinity, you are feeling and thinking about that divinity and you are living with that divinity. Because you are the integral part of this existence as a whole, right? That you are anyway, you know, an integral part of this whole existence. Whether you are able to see this existence as coexistence or you are not able to see it, whether you have that feeling of relationship with the whole existence or not, whether you are living with that feeling, you know, in your behavior, in your work or not, all these are open questions. But ultimately, that is the possibility with each one of us. We can understand this whole existence as coexistence. We can have the feeling of coexistence for every unit in existence. And finally, we can behave and work with every unit in existence with that feeling of relationship. This is the possibility for each one of us. And every one of us want to realize this. Right? If we realize this, then we are living as a human being. If we don't realize this, then we are striving to become a human being, but we are not living as a human being. But yeah, oneself after realizing this, oneself after realizing this, what will happen? The After realizing the continuity of it. Continuity of it for other human being to develop or? You have the continuity of this understanding in you. You have the continuity of this feeling and thought of relationship in you. You continue to behave and work and participate in the larger order with everyone around. That is your state of being. So that is about you as an individual. What will be the outcome? If you are behaving, you know, with relationship with everyone, working with relationship and participating in the larger order with feeling of relationship and harmony, then you become a source for relationship and harmony, right, for others. And that is how it starts, it starts multiplying till it ultimately reaches to everyone. It leads to an undivided society and universal human order. So that will be the outcome for others. But for you, you have already reached to that state where you are comfortable with you, right? You have feeling of relationship for everyone. You can live comfortably with everyone around. That is what is happening with you. But ultimate outcome of this would be that you are able to work for right kind of education and saskar, right kind of, you know, social system, which will ensure this kind of condition for everyone, you know, that is ultimately leading to undivided society and human order, universal human order. That is what we want ultimately, right? But to begin with, I have to work for it. You have to work for it. Everyone has to work for it. That is first thing to do. Second thing is to have right kind of education in sanskar, where not only we do it for ourselves, we can pass it to the next generation through process of education in sanskar. And then ultimately, it, you know, it has to be done for the whole society. So the kind of work that we are trying to do here is in that sense very significant thing to do, you know, very important thing to do. That if we can bring this in the mainstream education, where teachers can reach to that state and where they can make it available for the students, right? The students will have, will reach to that state and they can work for the society as a whole. Isn't it? That is the real role of the teacher. The teacher has to work not just for the salary. The teacher has to work for this. If you have reached to that state, you are the teacher in the real sense. Uh, Bhaiya, body is the gross and the self is subtler. Uh? And body is the gross unit and the self is a subtler unit. What is more subtler than self? Once the self reaches that uh, uh, state of realization, will the set, uh, self ha will reach the subtler part of like space or will that? Because such kind <laughs> of question when we put through like, People used to usually say, 
just see what you can able to see now not go but these kind of questions are there within right <laughs> yeah in fact when you say coexistence realization of coexistence it has two parts one part is i am able to see the subtle most activity and i am able to see the no activity the space which is not an activity and ultimately i am able to see the coexistence of this subtle most activity in a space which is not an activity so i have the realization of that space i have the realization of that subtle most activity in a space so i have the realization of this coexistence and then i have i have the realization of this coexistence expressing itself in the form of grosser and grosser activities therefore i can see the whole existence expressing itself got it got starting it, yeah. from the space and the subtle most activity in space how it is combining together to form you know grosser and grosser activities so in that sense i can see the whole creation taking place and the you know prelate taking place hmm. so that is the realization but i continue to be an unit of consciousness but i continue to be the unit of no activity once the consciousness can also become no activity state no i don't have to become no activity i have to experience this no activity okay and see it. that i am always in that no activity you know space and in this space all my need of that pure observer ah, is fulfilled all the time got it thank you thank you this question was there for one year <laughs> thank you very yeah we'll talk about this in more detail i just mentioned to this uh, to uh, dipeshi that at the level of pure observer i am able to see myself as an activity as subtle most activity i am able to see the space and i am able to see my coexistence in space and there all my need of the pure observer is already fulfilled so i don't have to achieve anything from outside okay it is already fulfilled in space that leads to that state of continuous happiness ultimately but we'll come to those things you know slowly thing which will keep coming back you know again and again because that has to be built up slowly so i have given an overall picture but we'll build up this you know slowly <clears throat> so this we have already discussed the conclusion is the self is central to human existence the body is used as an instrument of the self as and when necessary not always as and when necessary so with this the sum up human being is coexistence of self and body self is the seer doer and enjoyer it is central to human existence the need of the self is continuous happiness for this the program for the self is to understand harmony and to live in harmony at all levels of being starting from human being to family society nature and existence understanding of harmony feeling of harmony is at the level of self right understanding has to take place has to take place at the level of self feeling has to take place at the level of self the body is always used as an instrument of the self the transaction between the self and body is only in the form of information and is decided by the self so this is what we have tried to reflect on in this uh, session <coughs> with that some points for reflection number 1 observe the imagination going on in yourself at this moment observe the desire thought and expectation in this right some imagination is going on anyway every moment so now you start observing what is this imagination going on in you at this moment and this imagination what is the desire what is the thought what is the expectation are you able to see that you are happiness or unhappiness depends on your own state of imagination for example when you are thinking of taking revenge from the other this example we have taken so many times 
with a feeling of opposition, what is your state of happiness or unhappiness? How much of this is dependent on the state of the body? This is an important question that I was mentioning this. If you are sitting in an air-conditioned room, the body is okay, right? Comfortable. But if you are sitting with someone, you have a feeling of opposition. What will be your state of being? You will be happy or unhappy? Unhappy, yes. Suppose you are sitting in an air-conditioned room with your director with whom you have a feeling of opposition. Very common, right? Will you feel comfortable within or uncomfortable within? Happy or unhappy within? Right? So these are the points for your self-reflection. Stop here. If there is any urgent question, we have five minutes for us. Yes. Where can one self influence another self? That is what we are trying to do here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> then, then uh, it, it may be an uh, opposition in terms, right? in, in negative way. Yeah, yeah. See, we keep influencing each other positively or negatively. Yeah. All the transactions that we are doing with each other, it is having some impact on the other, positive or negative. Thank you. I have one uh, suggest one doubt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here I am here. I am, my friend is in one problem. Uh, I, I I could understand his uh, self, her self is not okay. Uh, like uh, I am uh, keep on uh, trying to cure his self, making her understanding, making her understand. But she is not in a position uh, to understand. I want to cure her self. What I can do for her? Like I am keep on talking, I want to try to cure herself. Like I am lagging in that. I could not make her understand that uh, thing. Yeah, so we did talk about this, but I can repeat. First thing to do is that I have to take care of myself. Okay. I have to put it in order. Okay. If I have put myself in order, First thing that will happen is my behavior with the other will be proper. It is that behavior which will be accepted by the other. With that acceptance of my behavior, if the other person has a willingness to share mm. the problem and get the answer from me, then I can be a help. Right? Then this whole process can start. Okay. Right? So all that we are talking about is essentially that process. By which first I can take care of myself and then I can be help to the other, right? So right kind of education sanskar can be ensured by first I going through this process of education and sanskar and if I develop the competence, right? Work with the other with same kind of you know process of education and sanskar through my right behavior with the other. That is very important. If you start giving sermons, you know, he will not listen. But if your behavior is proper, he will accept the behavior and then he will open up slowly. <coughs> I remember when we started it uh, in uh, one of the college in 2005, it seemed very difficult, you know, to take it to the mainstream education, almost looked like impossible. Now it is being run in thousands of colleges no? and whoever goes through it and is able to get the sense of it, he becomes a source for that college, you know, for that university. So multiplying so easily with almost no resource. People are the resource. So if people find that it is making sense to them, they work for themselves and then they start working for others. Very natural process. Yes. <coughs>